Welcome to the Archaeology Studio. Today's episode considers the possibility of archaeology jobs in outer space exploration. For instance, with the newly formed Space Force of the United States. While I was preparing this video, coincidentally I learned that the Space Force has started a new recruitment program. I will be curious if this video will make any impact in the recruitment. Archaeologists in outer space have been portrayed as imaginary characters in science fiction novels, movies, television shows, and gaming. This concept has been effective in science fiction, but could it be applied in reality? The core idea here is that archaeologists can investigate the faint surviving clues and traces about what people did in the ancient past. And perhaps these skills could be applied in other settings, such as with the Space Force or with other missions into outer space. An archaeologist should be able to observe a material object, then clarify if it was made through natural processes or artificially as a tool, as an artwork, or as any other form of artifact. Similarly, an archaeologist should be able to observe a landscape and ascertain if the features in the landscape were made naturally or artificially as farmlands, irrigation systems, villages, mining operations, or other constructions. In the case of identifying an artificial product, then an archaeologist can investigate additional questions. What was the purpose of this product? Was it part of a pattern of behavior? What was the time period of origin? What else can be ascertained about the original context? These basic procedures should be standard routines for any archaeologist. But could these skills be applied outside our world, such as in space exploration? One of the strengths of archaeology involves making physical observations of real materials, knowing that these same laws of physics consistently have operated throughout the world and throughout all time periods. The same principles that allow an archaeologist to distinguish between a natural stone and a deliberate stone tool can be applied throughout the archaeological record, regardless of the place or the time period. By extension, an archaeologist should be able to make the same kinds of observations even in outer space. The laws of physics still apply, although the archaeologist would need to be aware of the differences in the gravitational force, atmosphere, and other factors. The next step in an archaeological investigation would focus on studying the material evidence toward detecting any patterns in the spatial relationships of objects. Do certain items tend to be found together, or do they occur only in isolation from one another? When multiple items are found, then are they positioned in some kind of order? In standard practice, an archaeologist can examine the physical evidence objectively, searching for whatever patterns actually exist, rather than imposing bias about how a society or civilization should produce patterns in the evidence. In other words, in archaeology, the material facts come first. Regardless of the social context or time period of an archaeological site, the surviving remnants of artifacts are the focus of observation. The past society is not being observed. An archaeologist should avoid making assumptions about what kind of society was involved. Rather, in archaeology, the material facts guide the investigation. In our world, archaeology encompasses the study of the material remains of past human behavior. The material evidence in outer space contexts might need to be defined more broadly to include other kinds of life forms that potentially could create artifacts, sites, or other kinds of material records of their behaviors. In this respect, the strength of archaeology involves the focus in the objective material evidence that can be interpreted equally in any place or time period. 
in an outer space setting, an archaeologist mostly would concentrate on making basic observations about whether or not something was made naturally or artificially. In the case of identifying an artificial product, then an archaeologist in outer space, just like in our world, would apply skills in pattern recognition and analysis in order to ascertain more about the larger associated context. Additionally, observations of patterning and of stratigraphic positioning would be essential for outlining a chronological order of the objects of study. In my view, an archaeologist could be a productive member of a space exploration team, but you might consider the roles of other specialists. For instance, a linguist or a cryptologist could examine the possibilities of different communication systems, potentially outside the human experience. What are your thoughts about what an archaeologist could contribute in outer space exploration, or specifically in the Space Force? What kinds of missions might be involved? What kinds of situations might arise? And what kinds of teamwork compositions might be effective? Please remember to subscribe to this channel, share with your friends, and see new videos every month with the Archaeology Studio.